Guys, we have something incredible to show you today. We are here on the rooftop of 468 Wellington Street. Right below us is the biggest hard loft for sale right now in the city, just under $10 million. And I'm gonna give you a tour. Let's go check it out. Normally I would say, you know, this, this, this condo has five bedrooms or three bedrooms or you know this many bathrooms so this condo is 5,000 square feet and it is wide open and we're on the rooftop right now which is 3,500 square feet follow me along the beautiful boardwalk which leads to your own of course which every rooftop in Toronto has private sauna You made it. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Kyle Britson here from Berkshire Hathaway, and I am here at my colleague's listing. We're at 468 Wellington Street, and this is the penthouse, 5,000 square foot unit with a 3,500 square foot rooftop patio overlooking the city. This place could be whatever you want it to be. Let's go take a look. So this space is over 5,000 square feet and it's actually zoned as live or commercial. So really with no pillars or walls, you could turn this place into whatever you want. It's nice, texture. I think I left mine in here somewhere. Is this one mine or is it this one? One of those is mine. Good looking food too. She's just tickling the ivory over there. I don't know if you guys can hear this. It's beautiful. Yeah. So what I read when they finished it in 1995, the building went up for sale. The whole building. And it was listed at 2.1 million for the whole building. And then obviously they did all the work to convert it into condos. So the inspiration for this bathroom is um, actually Scarface, Don in Montana. I don't think you're ever gonna find a bathtub as unique in the city. This thing is concrete, but it's actually heated. What our seller was telling me is that he'll actually just sit in here sometimes and relax. Oh, getting a phone call. Hey, you there? I'm in the bath. I'm on, a, I'm on a penthouse on Wellington Street. Just, in, just sitting in a black tub. I'm with my boy Cameron. He's just taking video of me right now. Oh, sick. Can I get in this one? Yeah, you're in this one. This is your debut. <laughs> All right, Steven. Let me get back to my bath. Yeah, get back. Good luck. Okay, bye bye. Berkshire Hathaway. Thank you. So they actually have plans and a permit to build a mezzanine on top of this. So you can have a huge master bedroom up here with a bathroom and a walkout to a private wraparound terrace. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. So all around us, all you see is cranes. A crane there, crane to the north. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15, no, 16, 16, there we go. 16 cranes all around me. So just to the south, you can see City Place over here. And we have the well, which is a seven tower condo development that's going in by Tridel. 
And right here along Wellington, you have four of more of the boutique style condos that are going in. There is a mall that is going on underneath all of this. And then just to the north, you have the Bjark and Ingalls project, King Condos, which is going in. What's up guys? We're still back here at 468 Wellington. This unit is the third floor and it has been completely renovated from head to toe. You have your master over to the right. You have a his closet over here, a huge, huge master bathroom his and her sinks on both sides beautiful large tub here and what every bathroom needs is a double head shower one of the cool things too check out this bathroom when you open the door the toilet seat goes up Ding. walk over here and this is a closet meant for a queen so this opens up to, I would say about 2,000 square foot, open concept, kitchen, living, dining, and a bar space, all in one. Again, you have that hard loft feel in here that is unlike anything you can find in the city. Beautiful five burner stove, Miele appliances. I mean, this is luxury. What was roughly the reno budget on this bad boy? Just under a bill. Oh, okay. Yep. So this exposure is south facing, we're on the third floor, looking right down onto Wellington Street. So this is gonna be full of restaurants, cafes, bars, and there's actually gonna be an underground mall down there. So this area is under redevelopment and incredible. Okay, five, please, yes, sir. sir. Hammer. We've been in this elevator more than anyone else in the last like 15 minutes. I do well in small spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a 5,000 square foot loft? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much is the elevator? Redo the. Oh, that one? <laughs> it's like exactly the same light. Goodbye, my love. It's kind of strange though, because there's just construction guys walking around, but we're standing, we are standing in a $8 million unit owned by Arlene Dickinson. Yes, Dragon's Den, Arlene Dickinson. And this place is phenomenal. This one has the OG character. The other one's modern. And then the other one's a blank canvas. This is a like one of a kind, unique piece. So it's a Goodyear tire sign. So they would have just taken this sign off of like a huge building and then added in this steel columns, slap that thing on top. Like, that's the crazy thing is like, there's not really much to it, but that this would probably be worth like $20,000. I think what I love about this space as well is you'll probably find that each piece for her has a story. Yes, every 100%. Piece. And you can tell that there's character with everything over here. Yeah. Will. Some food, guys. I'm mad. You know what? Please. I was, was going to be like, do you need help with the food? Because yeah. I can help you. Grab it. So you can see the facade of the original building that they actually kept. And so all, look at all the rebar. You see all the rebar? That's all going to be filled in with concrete. And then they'll build the pillar. And then all of this, all, this is all like really thick wood. And that's where they pour all the concrete onto. And then once it's cured and set, They'll unscrew all of that and they'll put it up onto the next level and they just keep going all the way up. How about we uh, make this a viral video and we do a quick parkour? Quick parkour? Yeah, sure. I could make it though. No problem, I could make that. I'm not going to, I don't want to die, but I could do that, 100%.